how to find the nth term of the given geometric sequence and how to use this formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Finding the nth term of the geometric sequence. Given the first term a sub 1 and the common ratio r of a given geometric sequence, the nth term of a geometric sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. This means that we can solve the nth term of a given geometric sequence if we have first term and the common ratio. Let's have this example. In a geometric sequence 3, 12, 48, what is the next term? First, we must know its common ratio and the first term. Our first term is 3. To obtain the common ratio, we will divide 12 and 3. We will divide 48 and 12. Therefore, the common ratio is 4. And we will use this 4 to multiply each term to obtain the next term. So, 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 times 4 equals 48. 48 times 4 equals 192. Thus, the fourth term of the given sequence is 192. What if you will be asked to find the ninth term or the fifteenth term of the sequence? That's the time we will use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. How to use this formula? First, we will subtract n and 1 to become the power of r. The power or exponent will tell us how many times we will multiply the base or the r itself. Then the product will be multiplied by the first term or a sub 1. And the answer is the nth term of the given sequence. Example number 1. In a geometric sequence 6, 18, 54, 162, find a sub 7 or 7 term. First, we will identify the value of a sub 1 or first term and r which is the common ratio. a sub 1 is 6 and the common ratio or r is 3. Why? Because 18 divided by 6 is 3. 54 divided by 18 is 3. 162 divided by 54 is also 3. So therefore, the common ratio is 3. Then, use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. Then, substitute the value of n and also the a sub 1, the r, and that becomes a sub 7 equals 6 times quantity 3 raised to 7 minus 1. Then get the uh, difference first of 7 and 1 which is 6. So therefore a sub 7 equals 6 times quantity 3 raised to 6. Then we will simplify first. 3 raised to the 6th power before multiplying it to 6. 3 raised to the 6th power means we will multiply 3 6 times. And it is not 3 times 6 and that is wrong. So therefore, 3 raised to the 6th power is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and times 3. And the product is 7 129 and multiply it to 6 then we have the product of 4374 and this is now the answer of the first problem so therefore 
a sub 7 or the seventh term of the given sequence is 4374. Example number 2. What is the tenth term of a geometric sequence 8, 4, 2, 1? We need the values of a sub 1 and r in order to solve the tenth term of a given sequence. Our a sub 1 is 8 and r is 1 half because 4 over 8 reduced to lowest term is 1 half. 2 over 4 is also 1 half when we simplify it. And 1 over 2, of course, that is 1 half. So therefore, the common ratio is 1 half. Then copy the formula. Then substitute the values of a sub 1 or the first term and the r or the common ratio. That becomes a sub 10 is equal to 8 times quantity 1 half raised to 10 minus 1. Then 10 minus 1, that is 9. So bring down a sub 10, that is equal to 8 times 1 half raised to 9. So when you say 1 half raised to 9, we will multiply 1 half 9 times. a sub 10 is equal to 8 times 1 half raised to the ninth power, the product is 1 over 512. Then get the product of these two, 8 and 1 over 512. The answer is 8 over 512. Then reduce uh, to lowest term, 8 and 512, the common factor is 8. So we will divide uh, 8 and 512 by the common factor. So then the answer is 1 over 64. I know it's hard to learn mathematics, but we will learn it the way we want to eat an elephant, one bite at a time. It's only here in Math and You at Hankan TV.